Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Rett syndrome seems to appear out of nowhere. Infants with the rare neurological disorder grow and develop normally at first, but then, generally between 6 and 18 months of age, they suddenly regress. Toddlers forget their words, lose the ability to crawl or walk, develop involuntary hand movements and sometimes seizures, and can even struggle to eat or breathe. The children, predominantly girls, are very sick, explains Gail Mandel a molecular neurobiologist at Oregon Health Science University who has studied the condition for more than a decade. This protein is a transcription factor, and it's especially abundant in the central nervous system, where it helps to ensure that particular genes are switched off at the right time during development. We know a lot about how this protein works, Mandel explains. We know how it binds to the genome. We know how it represses genes from being expressed. We know where it is in the nervous system. But what we don't know is why mutations that eliminate its function give rise to this neurological disease. That lack of essential knowledge, particularly about how MeCP2 dysfunction affects the expression of other proteins, has hindered attempts at identifying effective drug targets. Through multiple preclinical studies, she and her colleagues developed a viral vector designed to slip a healthy copy of the MECP2 gene into cells and get them to make functional MECP2. But even people with mutations in MECP2 often produce some functional protein, and may even produce normal amounts in some cells. Too much MECP2 is as bad as too little, so an extra copy of the gene could end up doing more harm than good, says Mandel. That means that the therapeutic window is very small, she says. Researchers involved in RNA editing say it holds numerous advantages over DNA editing. The gene therapy she helped develop is still being pursued clinically, but what Mandel says she really wants is a way to repair the mutation without increasing the overall abundance of the protein. So she decided to try correcting the messenger RNA, mRNA, for the protein using an enzyme that can switch out certain mutated bases in transcripts with the correct one. In a paper published in 2020, she and her colleagues successfully used this approach to restore MECP2 function in live mice with a specific mutation in MECP2. Many were already pursuing other nucleic acid therapies, and have recently added RNA editing to their portfolios. Wave Life Sciences, for instance, has developed several oligonucleotides that are being tested in clinical trials, and Beam Therapeutics is known for its DNA-based editing platforms. Both Massachusetts-based companies are now also pursuing RNA editors. Increasingly, investment firms and big pharmaceutical companies are taking note of the technology. In August, for instance, Seattle-based Shape Therapeutics signed a $3 billion deal with the pharmaceutical giant Roche, which Shape's vice president and head of research David Huss says is evidence that RNA editing is taking off. I think that industry and the larger biopharma companies are really starting to notice that this is an important wave of the future, he tells the scientist. From the activity of these announced deals and financings and collaborations, you can see that the interest is heating up. Safety-first editing RNA isn't all that different from dna base editing techniques, which typically use SAS-9 or other enzymes attached to a CRISPR guide RNA to replace 1N. In the case of RNA editing, the enzymes being used in research are predominantly adenosine deaminases acting on RNA, ADARs, which have multiple functions in humans and many other animals including ensuring that the cell's own RNA molecules, which can form double-stranded structures reminiscent of. Researchers have capitalized on this enzyme activity to edit RNA. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.